Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey. With that white suit yeah. on, <laughs> posing. Look like the barbecue king. Yeah, see, see, quit hating on this page. You don't know nothing about this, baby. But we will welcome you, Sid, and the rest of the world to watch Players Only. Thank you guys for checking us out. It's our last show, and this is the post game presented by Kia. And uh, fellas, I can't believe it's the last ride, but uh, appreciate well, you, Big D's way to grab his hand. Grab his hand, yeah, yeah, BD. Did it. Uh oh, grab okay. his hand. It's so hard. Oh, I thought you were going to do that. Goodbye to yesterday. <laughs> I knew you were going to try to high note. Anyway, we had 13 games in the NBA tonight and then, uh, had a lot of playoff implication, a lot of meaning. Let's start in the West right now where the Spurs and the Clippers are getting it in, and you guys just saw it, but let's get right down to the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah. Austin Rivers. Austin Rivers. They say this man might have the most confidence in the league the way he just gets his game off. You saw the big shot by him on the other end. You know you're going to get a three right back in the head. And this guy, Lou Williams, he's a snub from the All-Star game 15 times this year, but he's still... <laughs> He's doing his thing, uh, especially late in the fourth quarter, BD. You've talked about him all year. You love his game. You can't let Lou Will go left, but he's been a killer for the Clippers and and pretty much the reason why they are still in the playoff picture. Wow, that's crazy. You said don't let him go left, and now as you said that, I think about him moving left. That's crazy how you got to know your teammates' game. And now this play, a little bit of controversy. Guys, what do you see at the end of the play? They're going to call the ball. Out of bounds on the side. Oh, oh, that goodness. was a steal. That, that, let him, it's going to be off of San Antonio, but that was a steal. What? That was a That's steal. a steal. The ball would have gone out of bounds. You know what I didn't? What I didn't notice at the end, though, the referees, they, they have no communication with the coaches this year. If it's a good or a bad oh. call, they just let it ride. And on the other end, the last play oh. of the game, Ginobili tries to get it. it. It looked like his foot. It don't look like he touched his heel touch. Right. Yeah. Respect his athleticism, man. Yeah, respect the movement of the players. And here you see two old four years ago, he would have hit that shot. Get together? Yeah, Manu. Oh, yeah, Manu. In the words of Barkley, Ginobili! But they lost, so. Big win for the Clippers. That out. And so, uh, BD, you think this, this game got the Clippers into the playoffs? I definitely think it's it's the momentum push that they need uh, playing against a tough team in San Antonio, fighting for, you know, the Clippers believe that they control their own playoff destiny. So, you know, coming from behind and beating the San Antonio Spurs, who've also been their kryptonite over the years, is a huge, huge mo momentum swing for the Clippers. And if, and if they do get into the playoffs, I mean, you, you have to credit Doc Rivers yeah. and that staff, you know, for getting them there after losing Chris Paul Come and on. Blake Griffin. Come on, yeah, one of the greatest coaching jobs he's done, and you see that man Westbrook dancing on the floor. You know he's gonna dance on the court. Oh, oh who that? yeah, that's right. That's a Brainus. Who he play for? Oh, yeah. Oh. He play for OKC. Man, who was that? Oh, yeah, he come off the bench. Oh, look at Brewer. Brewer like, man. Hey, man, you heard him, uh, you heard uh, Nate Robinson call Brewer Dragonfly Jones, man? That's <laughs> wrong, man. <laughs> hey, Nate Brewer, I mean, hey, uh, hey, hey, Nate, man, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. But anyway, you see, OKC really needs to get some momentum going back in the playoffs. And yeah. when you got this guy talking the basket like this, Isaiah, he's a one-man fast break. He's a one-man fast break. Ooh, you know, ouch. There's still Ooh. no answer for oh, KD oh, in the league. Ooh. He's the... You know, he's the one player, I think, in the NBA that there really is no matchup for. I, I know we talk about LeBron, but, you know, with KD, the way he shoots the basketball and handles it, there's really not a player right now that's matching up with him. Oh, yeah, and, and just look at Russell Westbrook. I mean, Run DMC used to say that Jam Master J was a one-man band. Good up, huh? Yeah, this guy's a one-man fast break. And when he's coming at you full speed, Ooh. BD, what do what, what, you mean? You know what? It's pick your poison. I mean, this guy... He finds angles and lanes and he exploits them so fast that you have to back up. And then his pull-up jumper is on point. Ooh. I hope Kevin Durant starts saying he's seven feet because his game is so ill that I think by saying he's 6'10", Zeke, it really don't show how great he is. I mean, it's okay to be a seven-footer. You're the only one I've ever yeah. seen like this. But, and see, Webb, can you make the argument that, you know, Durant is... Oh. Best defensive player in our league right now, too. Yes. You know, when you're looking at rebounding, shot block. Oh, oh, we might we might have some disagreement, but but, but, but but let me let me go with your argument why? Because if Golden State doesn't have a shot blocker, if Golden State doesn't have a shot blocker, and his his teammate Draymond Green was uh, defensive player of the year, and so Shaq, 
You want to answer that one? Hit your button on him. Oh, you don't have nothing to say? Hit your button on him. Oh, he ain't had nothing to say. He wasn't, he didn't make that noise in this movie. No, what happened was when I was dropping the glass. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, so. No, defensively, right? When you talk about rebounding, when you talk about shot blocking. <laughs> oh, my bad. I know you were talking about that. My, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Zip. Are you in the so, league? I'm, yeah, I mean, Kawhi Leonard's not there anymore, right? So who are you going to give it to? Who's the best defensive player in the league right now? I'm not if it's, if it's not If it's not KD. Who are you voting for? He's actually, he's actually playing excellent defense. How about this? Can I change the subject? This might be the ugliest uniforms I've ever seen since. Terrible. Since uh, Derek Coleman's Nets had that, remember the few shit, the blue, the yeah. ones that was tie dye. I mean, you know it doesn't make like? no sense to me. <laughs> the Nala <Mal> Later Jazz. <laughs> 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 There's got some brown in I there mean, this, too. What type Starting of rainbow? Your, it's like a rainbow from hell. Starting for your Nala Later Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it has nothing to do with Utah. I mean, I can see Phoenix, maybe the mountain rains or something. I know we'll get some call or hate on Twitter to explain to us how relevant those ugly uniforms are, but. Back to the highlights and Mitchell, this kid, if you guys don't know him, get to know him. He's not only oh, oh, Rudy. rookie, mm. Ooh. oh, go bear inside. Mitchell said, no, come oh, on, I got the rookie of the year, leave that alone. And Utah gets another one, and again, this might not be a team you want to see in the playoffs so hard to win. Gary there. team in the West. Rick, Rick, Gary Rick, team in Ricky the West. Rubio, the best point guard in the NBA. He's throwing shots at the defense day. Oh, I'm just tired. Oh, he man. did have 31 tonight, Shaq. Best point guard in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, in these standings, BD already said that he thinks this really helped the Clippers with the rest of their record. Getting a tough one, no one thought maybe except them that they were the one in San Antonio tonight. And you know, guys, the team that I'm looking at, I'm a big fan of, but I, it, it's it, up and down with me is uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. That seventh spot is a little, tricky. little worried. Yeah, a little tricky for them to get in. Anything you see on there, Zeke, Shaq? Well, you, uh, like? To me, Utah, you know, the, you know, the team that we just saw, you know, I, I think, you know, in the playoffs, this is a very dangerous team, particularly if they got home court advantage, because we all know how difficult it is to win a game out in Utah. And I look at the way they're playing, the confidence they're playing with, um, they're going to be a tough out. Yeah, I, I think that we're going to, as basketball fans, I love the fact the playoffs have started because teams are getting for, ready for positioning. But uh, I think BD said it earlier, it's going to be some upsets late and early in the playoffs. I can't wait to check those out. Oh, I would yeah. love to see DeMarcus Cousins still playing right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, sure. spot. Yeah. yeah. And when you play Get well, DeMarcus. Team, yeah, when you play against a team that's really play small ball, uh, besides Kevin Durant, who's seven foot and they shoot a lot of jumpers, got to beat him up inside. So I, I would have liked to see that matchup. However, it's not going to happen. So. You know, four through eight, uh, good luck. I hope you make it to the second round, but we all know, we all assume it's going to be Golden State and Houston in the Western Conference Final. That's going to be the championship this year. One surprise team in the playoffs. A surprise team is going to do something nobody else thought. Mm, Wizards. I'm going to go Philly. Zeke, one surprise team. Uh, I'm going to go Philly, too. I'm going to trust the process. I'm going to say Utah. Nice, yeah. I think you saw And why you talk, did he? Uh, you know, they, they hot. Um, you look at them there in the four position. They went from 11 to four. And to me, they got a lot of toughness. When you look at what they added with Crowder, you look at the way Donovan Mitchell is playing, Gobert come back. They good. They good. They good. <laughs> the music cut you off again, man. Now, we know you I'm produce looking, movies. At... We know you produce, man, so you got to get ready for your executive. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. We're trying to keep you on that timing, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, those are the ugliest uniforms, though. I mean, I think... Oop, I... Hey, that's an oop, Bob. Oop, <laughs> oop, 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 oop. Yeah. <laughs>